following it with our eyes first, here to show us how to set a gorgeous Thanksgiving table is Canada's celebrity event planner, Sebastian wow. Sentner, is with us today. Thank you. Great uh, introduction. Oh, I love that introduction. Thank you. Yeah. I'm telling you. We've got two tables we're going to show today. What are you going to tell us about? What we're going to talk about is that when you're setting the table for Thanksgiving, for the holidays, right. really two totally different looks, traditional and modern, which is because everybody has a different taste, a different sort of, sure. sort of style. Sure, and it's what you have around the house, too. Don't Absolutely. forget. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, we're, right. we're going to talk about that, too, using things you already have around the house okay. or things that can be used multiple times. But then in each case, we're also going to show a high and a low budget. Okay. So it's the same look, generally, but we're showing you can achieve it at completely different budget levels. Okay, so you had an idea, and you do the same thing every year when you do your Thanksgiving table. He's going to zhuzh it up for you. Exactly. So we're you're raising the bar. We are raising so the bar. So let's talk budget here. Okay, so what we did here on the traditional table is we did two totally different looks. So starting out here, we've got the high end, and we've got the low end. So if you look at the low end, what we did is, and it's not really low end, it still looks great, but it's at a better budget point. We did a printed tablecloth. This is very easy to do. You can take a picture. In this case, we did an oak tree. You took and a we, picture in your backyard of an oak absolutely, tree. Absolutely. Yeah. And we blew it up and just had our local, uh, our local print shop print it out for us. You can do that. And then on top of that, which is always a lot of fun, is instead, if you want to go to less trouble, yeah. craft paper. Mm -hmm. Really, really simple. You can roll it over the table. You can do different strips of it. If it's a kid's table, you add crayons, which is oh, always fun. Beautiful. Keeps the kids busy. Yeah. That's you know? the key. Keep the kids Keep busy. Keep the kids busy. That way you can eat and yeah. drink and everything else. Right, right. Or even if it's an adult's table, remove the crayons. Do something like uh, markers, Sharpies. Everyone can write their little Thanksgiving notes, yeah. preferably earlier in the evening, because later they get a little bit edgy. <laughs> um, and then you roll it up afterwards, okay. tie a ribbon on it, yeah. and it's a great little keepsake of your evening. And then you bring it back next Thanksgiving and say, this is what you said about exactly. me. Exactly, exactly. Okay, I'll yeah. get back to you on so this. So you okay. get invited back for the next holiday. Let's break this table okay. down. Okay, so we have two different looks. First mm -hmm. of all, starting here in the center, we've got the different uh, candelabras or candle holders. Beautiful. Okay. So the look's the same. However, on the high end, these ones here are in the $30 to $70 range, and these are in the $10 range. So these are these these candle holders are from where? Those are from Ikea, and okay. these are from Pottery Barn. Okay. But again, the look, in terms of it's the same look, it's yes. just a different price point. Uh -huh. And then when you start to move down in the table, again from the center out, these are little floral arrangements we did ourselves, very seasonal colors, rich colors. Yeah, so you're talking about cranberries and exactly. little cabbages in there. Exactly, so we have the there. dahlias in there, we got right. the, you know, the So things that, again, evoke the feeling of the season. Mm -hmm. But then on the uh, low budget side, what we did is just leaves, or twigs, or, or branches. And we have a whole mm -hmm. bunch of spray of stuff that we sort of can work with that's around the backyard, or you can pick up really, really inexpensively at your local but grocery store. The leaves are perfect. Yeah, yeah, they're great. Then when we work to the uh, the china. So for example, on this side, we went with a very you know rich color. Again, it's traditional, so we wanted something very interesting. Very earthy. Very yeah, very. Earthy. And this is this is PC home. So these are each like three dollars. Wow. Very very inexpensive. So budget wise, and you can That's use them for fantastic. different things. Yeah. Right. We did the squash that we hollowed out to make that for the soup. So it's like a soup terrine, but again, you're making squash soup anyway, so you might as well use this part. That's fantastic. Kind of how, how far in advance before it starts looking a little edgy? Well, you know what? If, if, you, if you, a couple of things. One trick is you can actually rub lemon in it, mm. okay? and that'll actually keep it from browning too much. Okay. But also, you just keep them in the fridge. If you do it the day before, the, whenever you're making your soup, you keep them in the fridge, it's fine. And if you've got a beautiful set that you never use, and you use it once a year. There we go. Well, this is, what, go. this is something different. This is rentals. So one thing when it comes to your party, if, even if you're entertaining 10 or 12 people or more people maybe than you have a setting for, uh, rentals are an inexpensive way to sort of make your life a lot easier and to expand. You don't have to go and buy, you know, three extra settings. So this comes from a company called Exclusive Affair Rentals, and we went with sort of a very high-end traditional look for this. Uh -huh. But the nice thing is you can order this stuff. It all arrives on your doorstep. You set the table and everything else, then you put it back into the boxes dirty. Yes, you do. No dishes. And then right? you pick it up the no next dishes, day. No dishes, right? There you go. It's like magic. I love it's that. It's like magic. Exactly. The, the dish fairy comes. The dish fairy comes and they're gone. <laughs> so it's a nice way that you yeah. can sort of change the entire look, and that's tables and chairs and linens. Before I move on to the next one, I have to say I really like what you did here with, this, with the napkins. Like just something Thank different you. there. It's yeah, you know, just it's, like a nice drop. It's pretty, isn't it's it? It's a nice way to sort of put your napkins so you don't take up too much space when you have a busy table that's got yeah. a lot going on. Yeah. This is something I really like to yeah. do at yeah. home and at the events as well. Okay, so now we're going to go to the modern side. We're going to go to modern. So completely different look, contrasting. It's very stark. It's clean. Mm -hmm. um, again, it depends on your personal style, looks, what your home looks like, or the style that you're kind of looking for for your, uh, your table. So here, again, what's in common is that we have the high end, and then we have the low end. So if you look at this, this is something like uh, the china, for example. Mm -hmm. This is from William Ashley. Ashley. Uh, and we've got some bamboo cutlery, so it's high-end cutlery, it's expensive very cutlery. very pretty, really yeah. pretty. And then on the low end, this is from uh, Ikea and uh, PC Home. So it's very inexpensive. The cutlery, I mean, a set of four, I think, is 
thirty dollars or something. It's something like that. And you know, you wouldn't even be able to tell the difference in the prices really no. the way that you set it up, because again, you decorate it very similarly. Absolutely. Well, you know what? It's, you it's like, it. Yeah, and what we do is in our in our business, we're always about working towards somebody's budget, right? Mm -hmm. Well, the same thing goes at home. You know, some days you want to, you know, break the bank and throw it a fabulous party, and you know, it's not budget's no issue. But a lot of times, you also want to see how you can be a little bit more economical about it. Sure. You know, you're you're entertaining 10, 15, 20 people, mm -hmm. and that's going to be a lot of money to do. So, how can you save money in certain kind of interesting ways? Well, you you also too a big proponent of what do you already have, Absolutely. like vases that you have, and Absolutely. I love these centerpieces. They're so cool. Well, the centerpieces. It, this is a perfect example, as you said, of reusing is, well, on the right-hand side, we actually have florals that were done by our florist, which is Berries and Blooms. They did a fabulous job for us when we said high-end, really opulent, you know, the orchids and everything else. Gorgeous. But then on the left-hand side, what we're showing is how you can take vases. These are from Ikea. Yeah. Use Thanksgiving or, or fall-type decor. Sure. But the fun part about it is, as well, the same vases can then get reused for holiday yeah. So, you know, you change the centerpiece on that. It's oh. completely Are different. Are you coming season. back for the holiday? I'm coming back. Yay! I'm just, you know what? I'm, we just signed up. It's on tape. You know what? <laughs> I, I'm just going to leave the tables here. Right? That just makes That's it easier, right. right. But the thing is, you've got those extra little, you know, vases and things like that. Put stuff in. Can we actually put those flowers in ourselves and do the same thing? You can do the same I mean, thing. They did actually, a beautiful job. No, no. It's, you know what? They do a great job on this. But at the same time, this one here, mm -hmm. which actually has tulips in it, very, very inexpensive. Tulips are inexpensive. And that's the same way you can do it. The one thing about putting uh, flowers in water, you want to make sure you actually put a little bit of water in at the beginning. Yes. And then you fill it right before your guests arrive. Because the longer they're in the water, they get soggy and they do turn brown a little okay, bit. Okay, so you just put the water in. Okay, yeah. what are these little things called? These are called amuse-bouche. Oh. So it's a palette teaser. The idea is, is that I don't like to set a table without having some sort of life to the actual center, mm -hmm. to, the, to the, the place settings. And an amuse-bouche is a single bite item that sort of starts out the meal. It's like a palette teaser. You right. know, what's your palette? Yeah. Okay, and then and that's like, for example, that would be... Well, if you, if for example, to make it yourself, it's 2 or $3. Very, okay. very inexpensive. Yeah. These obviously are done by our company. Yeah. You know, Can we, we take cater. a scoop of hummus and put a little pickle on it? <laughs> You know what? Um, if 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 that's what uh, if that's what you want to do, that's it'll what's work. That's over. Okay. You know what? Even I can make that look pretty. <laughs> now you've invited people over to dinner. You have a beautiful table, and you also want to send them away with something. Now, you're, you're a big proponent of that. So yes. tell us what you did for a parting so gift. So what we did is we want people to remember the party after it's already you know yeah, it's gone, right. et cetera. So what we did here is we had a great parting gift. It's chocolate bark. So it's perfect mm. for the season. You can use almonds, you can use cranberries, etc. And what we do is we put it in a little package. We wrap it in cellophane. Everybody leaves the party at the end of the night. They might eat it in the taxi on the way home. But also, what we did is we actually attach a recipe card. So the idea is, is you know, the next week, the, the next day, whatever, you can make it with your kids. You can do the same recipe over. And maybe you'll, you know, make that your, uh, your idea to give away to people at your next party. Well, very good. Do we love this man? Yeah. The back and set. Come Thank back you. and visit us soon, huh? You. Beautiful you. ideas. You really inspired us. We'll be right back. All right. I love that. I love you. Up next, Dress for Success with Cynthia Florek's Corporate Cool Picks. And next week, learn how to make hauntingly quick and easy kids' Halloween costumes for under $20.